Welcome everyone to Muscle Cars Universe. In this video, we are going to explore what makes SEMA 2023 the most anticipated event of the year. This edition is expected to have massive attendance numbers, similar to the 2018-2019 levels, and for very good reasons. Here are the best upcoming hot rods and muscle cars to look out for at SEMA 2023. We start with one of my favorite builders out there, Ruffian Cars. The team led by Chris Ashton is currently building an incredible Ford Galaxy with ingenious solutions, like for example the rear exhaust tips facing upward, a new carbon rear diffuser and 3D printed taillights. These guys are no strangers to groundbreaking Ford builds, including the previous 1970 Mustang Fastback we've seen in 2019, and the even more notable widebody GT40, spectacular creations achieved through extensive use of 3D modeling and 3D printing. But hold your horses because they are bringing a second car as well, a 67 Fastback that is getting finished right as we speak, and that's gonna be in the same league as the Galaxy. Wow! Next, we have another highly anticipated vehicle, the 1973 Pontiac Firebird race car by Horizon Motorsports. This wild creation by the Cameron family packs a heavily modified twin-turbo LS engine producing an outstanding 2000 horsepower, a full tubular chassis with state-of-the-art suspension levers and mechanisms, pedal shifting 6-speed transmission and more, much more. I have been following the progress in the fabrication of this car throughout the whole year and to me, this is the most anticipated build of SEMA 2023. Next on the list is the C2 Corvette built by KMC or Kuhnhausen Metal Concepts. Kyle is no stranger to SEMA, he actually participated in the Battle of the Builders before and his workmanship deserves recognition. The exquisite Corvette he presented back in 2019 is a clear proof of it. KMC is a force to be reckoned with and Kyle is a true artist and up-and-coming hotter builder considering he creates everything by hand in his tiny garage in Oregon. His specialties include welding, fabrication and metal customization. I'm sure the end result will be amazing. Next up is a great guy I personally know, Jesus Lopez from Lopez Performance. I actually met these guys back in 2019 and was completely astounded by their creation. Green 7.0, taking the spotlight at SEMA. I recently met Jesus here in New Zealand when he was invited as international guest at Americana 2023, our very own classic car festival held in New Plymouth. We had time to talk about SEMA 2023, and I can assure you guys, he's coming back with another masterpiece. Conceived by Sean Smith Designs, the details around this 69 Camaro have now been disclosed. It's powered by a Dart LSX block with a Whipple supercharger, it has a T56 transmission, and the whole interiors package will be crafted by Gabe's Custom Interiors. Seeing what they did on Grim 7.0, I can assure you guys, we are in for a treat. Amazing body lines, seamless fabrication work, flush mount glass, ample use of carbon fiber and the outstanding interiors make this car a real candidate for queen of the show at SEMA 2023. Next is a big spoiler alert, actually a huge one. It's the highly anticipated six-wheeler Hammer H1 built by the creative minds at Darton Arts Customs. The team led by exuberant Frenchman Alexandre Danton has yet come up with another absurd concept. This Hummer H1 is not your average kit car with just another axle welded to it at the end. Alexandre has mastered the challenging segment of six wheel conversions as proven by his previous outrageous creations like the Land Rover you see here and the groundbreaking Rolls-Royce as well. Not to mention the red rodding treatment he gives to famous European classics like the Lamborghini Espada and the Coca-Cola Citroën. 
A lot of extensive work and planning goes into every single one of his builds. A true statement of Alexandre's vision and expertise. This Hammer H1 can be seen sporting super aggressive aero, a complete new chassis, lightweight Kirky racing seats and most of all, yes, the mid-mounted Hellcat engine. How rad is that? Shifting now the attention to the Australasian side of the world, we get to Rides by Cam. The shop, situated in Queensland, Australia, is world famous for their metal fabrication and personalization of both engine bay compartments and interiors. We have seen the results of their craftsmanship with the 1900 horsepower Challenger they came up with at SEMA 2019. On the opposite side of the ditch, and proud of my own Kiwi compatriots, the boys at Cruising Customs have decided to raise the bar this year by bringing their Chevy truck to US soil. They have successfully entered the Grand National Truck Show a month ago with real solid results and positive feedback, sparking interest left and right and shifting the needle to this side of the world. Back to US based vehicles, next up is the LT5 powered C1 Corvette presented by Customs by Lopez. The team is tight and they have always managed to deliver great vehicles at previous SEMA editions, including their Chevelle in 2019 and the latest immaculate Chevy truck in 2022. Every builder has their favorite make and models, and for Ricardo Lopez, it's definitely Chevrolet. The C1 they're bringing is finished in a beautiful brown paint job with unmistakable matte details. Somewhat of a trademark for this shop. I can't wait to have a closer look at two specific resto mods at SEMA 2023. The first one being the grey Mustang built by Ironworks Speed and Custom. How stunning is that? and the other one being the extraterrestrial looking Roid Runner from Nostalgia Hot Rods. Both of them totally broke the internet recently and are real stunners not to be missed at the show. Next up is the 67 Chevelle built by BBT Fab. I'm just going to refresh your memory here with the award winning Firebird that they built a few years ago. Not to mention what they're working on right now a Hellcat powered Plymouth Duster. That thing's going to move, man. Back to the Chevelle, it's just a beautiful interpretation of a classic car that's been revisited in a modern key. Eager to see it in person, that's for sure. Next up, we have the full carbon OEM licensed 69 Camaro and 70 Chargers built by Finale Speed. Yes, you heard it right. The original equipment manufacturers have licensed these body kits for official use. Given the finite amount of American classic cars ever produced and the ever-growing demand for these vehicles to be restored, modified and used as donor cars, I am not surprised to see companies popping up like Finale Speed. They are offering a refreshing proposition and solution to the depleting supply of classic cars with a fully built and ready to go carbon fiber body kit for Camaros and Chargers to start with. Yes, to start with. There are virtually no limitations to what they could expand to next. Let's hear what they have to say in their own words. Breaking news right here on the uh, podcast. We are now um, in an exclusive partnership with Roadster Shop. So yeah, Finale Speed, we manufacture both uh, 70 Chargers and 1969 Camaros completely carbon fiber. We debuted at uh, Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale last year with the Camaro. We most recently had the 70 Charger at the Dodge booth at Roadkill Lights. And then we're very happy to announce that we're gonna be producing a 69 Camaro convertible, a roller version of which will be in the Dynamat booth at SEMA this year. I'm just stoked because, you know, obviously, you say Roadster Shop and anybody who uh, is worth their salt in the car industry knows exactly who you guys are and what you guys do. And, you know, it's the combination of the uh, technology, the reliability, 
and the name recognition, you know, that's a, that's just a, a, a trifecta of, of love. Next up is Craven Performance. I met with these guys back at SEMA 2019 and was very impressed with the 1500 horsepower 69 charger they built for Andy Frisella. I wasn't told what they would bring for SEMA 2023, but I'm sure it's gonna be something groundbreaking as far as their builds and creations are concerned. They have recently started specializing in off-road and survival vehicles, and by that I mean especially Hummer H1s and Snow Tracks conversions. I mean, how crazy is that? Thumbs up for Craven Performance, and see you guys there. Last on the list is the 68 Mustang Resto Mod called Rampant, built by East Bay Muscle Cars. Known for their award-winning titanium grey Camaro, the team at EBMC is raising the bar this year with yet another exclusive creation. Here we can see the extensive work done to the exteriors and the prominent use of LEDs for both front and rear lights. The grille is getting a complete redesign as well and we can only speculate on whether a Coyote supercharged engine will be used. To complete the picture is the amazing dark cherry paint job with matte details. Simply stunning. Honorable mentions are Speedcore, Dave Kindig, Chip Foos and the inevitable Ring Brothers. They all represent the backbone of the American hot rodding industry. Speaking of which, the Ring Brothers are coming out in numbers by unveiling three vehicles at SEMA 2023. A Rolls Royce named Paramount, a 69 Charger named Tusk and a 65 Fastback named Uncaged. The two brothers from Wisconsin come from multiple winning editions and they will be defending the title this year once again. And that's about it folks, I know I left out plenty of builders and vehicles, but I'm sure we'll have a blast next week at the show with some great surprises and new found memories like every year. It is, after all, the biggest American automotive show in the world, I can't wait to be there and I'm sure you can't either. Make sure to subscribe to Muscle Cars Universe and to turn on your notification bell for all the updates from SEMA 2023. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and let us know your favorite car from this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next videos guys. Bye bye.